I'd like to talk to you for a minute here about three reasons why modern Christianity is satanic. It's not of God. If uh, your religious practices can only date back um, a few years, less than 100 years we'll say, then you are in a satanic movement. How do I know that? Well, because I came out of that movement myself. It is not of God. Uh, real, true Bible-believing Christianity dates back to the first century. And you can have you could have great fellowship with anyone if there was such a thing as a time machine that you could go back in time. But modern Christians, they don't believe that way. Modern Christianity is all about change and, and uh, what was good yesterday is not good tomorrow. Uh, we're always open to change. We're willing to change at the drop of a hat. That's not Bible-believing Christianity. But I'm going to give you three reasons really quickly here why modern Christianity is wicked, why it's satanic. Reason number one is because they hate the King James Bible. I've never met one modern professing Christian uh, that loved the King James Bible. They all hate it without question. They all make fun of it. They make fun of the archaic language and all the other stuff. They hate the King James Bible. It's not of God. And if you don't understand the fact that the King James Bible is not a, an old English translation and we have modern ones now that are better and, better and more accurate, uh, you're quite foolish. You don't understand. I realize a lot of people in modern Christianity are very ignorant of the subject of the different lines of manuscripts going back to Alexandria, Egypt versus Antioch, uh, Syria. They don't even understand that there are different Bibles. And they say, well, the new versions are based on older manuscripts. No, they're not. Uh, the, those manuscripts were available to the translators of the King James Bible. And if you look at the Dewey Reams, which came out a year before the King James Bible, came out in 1610, King James Bible came out in 1611, most of the modern uh, updated readings are there in the Dewey Reams Bible, the Catholic Bible. It's an argument the Bible version issue is not old King James versus newer versions. No, it's the received text versus the minority Greek text. And many people don't even understand that. In the modern churches, they're not taught it. And they don't care to be taught it because it goes against their philosophy, which brings me to point number two. All modern Christians are evolutionists, every single one of them. They might not claim to believe in evolution in terms of, you know, that man came from non-living matter and evolved up through the primates and whatever else to become what we are today. They might not believe that, they say, but the philosophy that leads modern Christianity is evolution. Everything is getting better with time. Things don't get worse, they get better with time. So the music is better, the way that they dress is better, the way that they do church <laughs> is better. Um, it's all better. See, they believe in evolution philosophy. And as a result, you go on to point number three, why modern Christianity is satanic, and that is they're all violent revolutionaries. Again, oh, we're okay, we, we believe in tolerance, we're, we're not militant, we're not trying to judge other people and whatever else. Uh, yes, they are. Yes, they are. Um, if there are older people that are trying to sing old hymns and whatever else, the modern, violent, revolutionary, reactionary, uh, professing Christians, they want to get rid of the old people with their hymns and their, their old ways of doing things and whatever else. They want to get rid of the older people and the older ways. And that's just the way it is. Again, coming out of the modern Christian movement, which I did many years ago when I got saved, genuinely born again. Um, there was a lot of animosity within modern Christian groups towards the older people and their old ways that they had. And uh, if there were old hymns, uh, oh, they can have their service, but they have to come to church first. And, and we, you know, the younger people get to have the praise and worship music later on and the whole thing. So we can have a traditional service, but we should eventually phase that out because it's hurting uh, growth, you know. Mm -hmm. um, that's why modern Christianity is satanic. It's wicked. Uh, and you should have nothing to do with it. So if you're in the modern Christian system, you have to realize that you are a false convert. Um, you have no connection to anyone from the past. I mean, how could you say that there is such a thing as modern Christianity when the events of Christianity that formed Christianity happened 2,000 years ago? Approximately 2,000 years ago. And you can't relate to people 100 years ago? that profess to be, or that were Christians, that's a problem. That's a big problem. Uh, so you have to get to the place where you realize as a modern professing Christian that you are not saved. You are a false convert that the Bible warns about.
And until you drop your self-righteous pride and realize that you are lost and that you truly need to be born again and fall in love with the old ways and the old paths and the King James Bible, God's perfect word in English, till you realize that, till you get to that point in life, you're on your way to hell while professing to be a Christian. So get saved. You need to repent of your wickedness. You need to come to the Lord as a sinner, as you truly are. Um, and you need to get out of that modern church system, period.